Welcome to our apartment. This is our 700 square foot, one bed, one bath, located in the heart of Silicon Valley. Upon entering the apartment, we have a console next to the door that we use as a catch-all. It has become habit to dump our pockets into the console so we never have to go looking for our keys or wallet. Our entryway's only source of natural light is a sliding door on the opposite side of the apartment. So to bring more natural light into the space, we added a 28 inch round mirror over the console. Even with the mirror, the entryway still lacks in light, so we also placed the table lamp with a diffused dome to supplement the natural light. To further open up the space, we also enlisted the help of a couple plants. We have a peperomia on top of the console and a medium sized dragon plant next to it. Next to the door, we have what should be our coat closet, but I have commandeered it to house all of my video equipment. To the left of the closet, we have the washer and dryer that came with the unit. To the left of our entryway is our kitchen. We like to keep our countertops clutter free to make food preparation more efficient. The only thing that lives on our countertop is our coffee setup since we use that every day. In our fridge, we keep condiments, produce, leftovers, and some beer. Over the kitchen counter, you can see our favorite room in the apartment, the living room. For our living room, we wanted to make the focus of the room our coffee table. We wanted the coffee table to be the focal point to help facilitate social interactions and create an environment where you want to put your phone down. To light the room, we have a large source of natural light coming from our sliding door windows. And while they do provide a lot of light, the window is an eastern facing window so light quickly falls off after 10 a.m. To address the lack of light in our living room, we added three lights. We have a floor lamp to the left of the sofa, a hanging lamp in the opposite corner, and finally, a table lamp on top of the sideboard. We populated each lamp with a LifeX LED bulb. Unlike other LED bulbs, these supply 1100 lumens and don't need a hub. These lights are perfect for extending daylight, but can also change color temperature to provide warmer, cozier light at night. The room has dark wood floors, so we anchored the room around this 5x7 off-white rug. On top of the rug sits a marble coffee table with solid oak legs. To further create intimacy and coziness, we placed a Lawson Cubist candle holder on the table. This is an iconic Scandinavian candle holder that helps us create moments of Huga. Surrounding the table, we have our leather sofa with two oversized navy throw pillows and a dark gray lounge chair with a walnut frame, both of which are from Article. Behind the lounge chair sits a sideboard that is home to our record player. Since we want the focus to be the conversations happening around the coffee table, we chose to forgo a TV and instead install a vinyl setup. We also use the sideboard as storage. To the right, we keep games and coloring books for when we babysit our nieces and nephews. In the middle is where we keep the records for the record player, and then in the leftmost cupboard we keep our magazines, coffee table books, and cookbooks. For pictures and art, we have a 4x4 picture of Jennifer and I from our engagement shoot at Ruby Beach, which sits next to the record player. Then, above our sofa, we have two 18x24 beige watercolor prints to make the room feel a little more tranquil. For plants, we have three in the living room. To the right of the sofa, we have an Indian rubber tree. On the sideboard sits a Chinese money plant. And finally, to the right of the sideboard, we have a snake plant. In addition to the coffee table, we also have a mobile side table from Hay. This keeps our space versatile. The table works as a side table for the sofa or can be used in addition to the coffee table on game nights to keep drinks and food out of the way of Jenga. While we weren't initially fans of this living room, the addition of several light sources and some comfortable furniture have created a space that we love to come home to. At the end of a long day, we can't wait to light some candles, play some music, and kick our feet up. Moving on from the living room, we have our bathroom. The bathroom doesn't have a lot of storage or counter space, so we installed some acrylic shelving to house the toiletries we use daily. 
To the left of the bathroom sink, we have another coat closet that we instead use as a utility closet where we store all of our towels and cleaning supplies. Finally, we have our bedroom. The window in the room also faces eastward, but there isn't an awning above the window and we have two large mirrors on the opposite side of the room, so the room gets ample light throughout the day. The only additional light sources we added were two menu lights above each of our nightstands. Between the nightstand we have our queen size bed. Since Jennifer and I both run warm, we chose linen bedding for our bed. In front of the bed we have our six drawer dresser. On top of the dresser we have a TV for movie nights and office reruns. To the left of the TV we have another plant and some decorative vases on the right. Behind the two full length sliding closet door mirrors is where Jennifer and I hang some of our clothes and keep all of our shoes. In our room we also keep our cordless vacuum, hamper, and some old pictures that we're slowly digitizing for Jennifer's mother. Thank you to Article for sponsoring this video. Article was nice enough to supply both the 72 inch Sven leather sofa and the Denman lounge chair. Article uses a combination of high quality veneers and solid wood for their modern takes on timeless mid-century furniture. Article offers free shipping on all orders over $999 and a 30 day no questions asked guarantee. You can check out the sofa, lounge chair and other mid-century designed furniture at article.com. I hope you enjoyed this apartment tour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.